from southern Ontario May 16th it's later in the afternoon here now now this is exciting and I just caught wind of it um, the Netherlands Gert Wilders I think he's from the farmers party sorry the, the Dutch translation thing anyways it's been six months now since he won the well 25 percent of the national vote but he hasn't been able to form a coalition government Netherlands has 15 parties to us North Americans I know that sounds just absurd doesn't it but anyways not a lot of the European countries have a multi-party system so anyways for six months he's been the leading party if you will um, oh Mark Root had been in power for, I believe, 14 years. Young Global Leaders graduate, class of 92. Classmate of Justin Trudeau's. So, in essence, for the last six months, the Netherlands um, govern government, I guess I should say, it's kind of been, can't get a lot done, right? Because, well, uh, the WEF minion, Root, is still sort of at the helm. You can't really make a lot of decisions, right? Anyways, Gilders finally just formed a coalition with three other parties, I gather. But oddly enough, he doesn't get to be prime minister, if I've got that straight. i got to do some homework in this. I just caught wind of it now. So who will be prime minister? I don't know. Who are the other three parties? And what percentage of the national vote did they get? I don't know. But they have formed a coalition and now we'll have a functioning government. And they've had to soften a lot of the policies. Well, to form this coalition, I guess, Wilders had to soften a lot of the policies that he'd ran on, including um, that one certain religion whose name I suppose I shouldn't say. But they are going to tighten and restrict a lot of the immigration policies, including, I gather, deportations will begin to happen. Although, again, a lot of his what he ran on, election platforms, if you will, had to be softened. Which seems kind of counterproductive to what 25% of the national vote wanted. But I guess you, when you got 15 parties, you got to make some compromises. Anyways, I perceive this as a positive move for the Netherlands. It will allow them to uh, get back to work, so to speak. Sounds like good news to me. Let me know what you think.